Here we want to multiply rational or radical expressions. Sorry, radical expressions. There are no fractions yet. So radical expressions. The square root of 7 times x plus 2. Some of you might be saying is, well, I don't know how to do it. Or, or it could look like maybe a distribution problem that we've seen before. And that's actually what we have. Root 7 times x plus 2. I'm going to distribute that root 7 to the x and then to the 2. So root 7 times x is x root 7 plus root 7 times 2 is 2 root 7. And so there I was able to go ahead and distribute that on out and multiply it. Let's look at another example. The cube root of x times the cube root of 6 minus the cube root of x squared. Another distribution problem. I'm going to multiply this first term to both the first and second aspects of that second term. So a cube root of x times a cube root of 6. Well, I can multiply them because they're the same indexes. So that becomes a cube root of 6x, or x6. I just put the 6 first, minus the cube root of x times the cube root of x squared, which is the cube root of x cubed. And I'll always look for ways to reduce if possible. 6x, the cube root of 6x does not reduce. But the cube root of x cubed is an x. And so there's my final solution there. One last example. Say I have 5 root 2 plus 2 root 3. And that entire expression multiplied by 4 root 2 minus 3 root 3. A binomial times a binomial, if you will. Well, it's setting up to be almost a classic FOIL situation. First times first, outers, inners, and last. So let's go ahead and do that, where I'm going to multiply the first term times the first term. 5 root 2 times 4 root 2. The outer terms is a 5 root 2 times a negative 3 root 3. The inner terms, 2 root 3 times a 4 root 2. And then the last terms. 2 root 3 times a negative 3 root 3. Basically, I just did all the FOIL applications. First times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, last times last. So 5 root 2 times 4 root 2, that becomes 20. Root 2 times 2, which is 4. Or 20 times 2. Or 40. Over here, I have 5 root 2 times negative 3 root they're at negative 3 root 3, that becomes negative 15 root 6. And I can't reduce that down any further. Plus 2 root 3 times 4 root 2, that becomes 8 root 6. Can't reduce that down any further. And then 2 root 3 times a negative 3 root 3, and that gives me a negative 6 root 9. Or a negative 6 times a 3, or a negative 18. So let's clean this up a little bit and see what I have. The first term when I multiplied everything together gave me a 40 minus a 15 root 6 plus an 8 root 6 take away an 18. And now I have some common terms or like terms that I can add up. 40 and a negative 18 gives me a positive 22. And negative 15 root 6s plus 8 root 6s give me minus 7 root 6s. So there's my final answer to that original problem.